Hey curl friends, it's your girl Shelly B up in the house. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Alrighty, so I am straight. Oh my goodness. Can I just say, I don't like my hair straight at all. This makes me appreciate my curls even more so. Straight hair for me is just kind of boring. Maybe once my hair gets a bit longer, I will like it straight, you know, here and there, but I just really have embraced my curls and I love my curls and I just love the look that I get with my curls instead of straight hair. All right, enough of that. So why is it straight? Well, I had my third cut on blown out hair and then clearly we did a little light flat iron, you know, work. We were going to still press it out, but then I decided I didn't want to do that because I didn't plan on, you know, wearing my hair straight for an extended period of time. Like, I'm like, I don't even want to do all that. I just wanted it flat ironed enough to where we could see like anything that was there, like any damage that was still there. And sure enough, just as I had anticipated, we were able to see it and there was kind of like a clear area of it. And I was like, whack it off, take it, you know, cause my goal is to have healthy, happy hair. So we did that and let me just show you what she's looking like because I know you nosy and you want to know all the things. Ooh, I got her just, she's probably going to be all dented and messed from it. But this is what she's looking like. It's, it's, it's rather boring. <laughs> like it's just straight and just kind of like, eh, like, mm -mm -mm. so. You know what's cool about this is that in January when I got my last um, curly cut, I had had her put like a ton of layers in it. Like it was like in the back. I got that big old dent. Um, anyway, she had put a ton of layers in it and it was a beautiful cut and everything. No complaints there. But I got to a point where I'm like, you know what? I don't want a bunch of layers in my hair. I don't want that. I feel like for me and my own personal head of hair, that my hair is going to be stronger and more resilient the less layers I have. Because I think of it as pasta, right? If you have a few pieces of pasta and you go to break it, you can break them rather easily. But if you have a whole, you know, bulk of pasta and you go and try and break it, it's harder to break. It's harder to, you know, jack it up. And I just think of the same thing holding true for my head of hair. So I wanted all the layers taken out. The only area that I still have kind of like some layers in a little bit is in the front, but she said that's just hairline, that your hairline has to be hella strong for it not to have some breaks and stuff in it. So I'm going to be more mindful when I'm styling my hair touching my hair. I'm going to try and keep my little mittens out of my hair so that I don't impact my hairline as much. Wait, that's not what I want to say. So that I can baby it a bit more and just kind of keep my hands out of it and that sort of thing. So that's going to be a focus of mine. She also said, I typically wear my hair over to the left. And she said that that's the reason why it's kind of compromised a little bit and to just start to alternate back and forth. So, that's where we are. So now I no longer have like the crazy layers in my hair. It's all pretty much one length now, which I'm so happy about because honestly, I thought I was gonna have to go through a series of additional cuts to get her to one length. I didn't realize that it had grown out enough to where we were pretty much already there. But this last cut, we cut about four to five inches off. She cut it while it was blown out. And then from there, she flat ironed it. And then we fully assessed it and cut it again and, you know, took off everything that needed to go. So we are now supposedly at a healthy enough baseline to begin to let her grow. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wow! I'm so excited. And the transformation from where my hair was in May when I blew her out and had it assessed to where she is now, like it's literally day and night different. Like I have a whole new head of hair. I would assess and say that I think my hair is about 80% healthy. I think that I still have, you know, 20% 
to get my hair to like optimal health but honey from where i was to where i is now i will take it i'm so happy some would say that i'm probably not giving it a high enough health percentage that i'm probably like 90 to 95 percent but when you know your hair and you know what your hair has historically been versus where it currently is i would just say that I've got about 80% healthy hair. I still have a ways to go because I still have some damage in there. I still have some split ends, even though I cut so many of them off because I had a lot of mid strand splits and stuff. And so those are still riding hard within my head of hair, but it's just not as bad as it was because I've been growing my hair out, cutting it, growing it out, cutting it. And I've had three nice, you know, significant cuts so here we are we are happy and we're in a really good place to just soar and that's what i plan to do so what are we going to do next well your girl is missing her curls and i am ready to take this back to curly hair and i mean i don't know what the shape is going to look like i have a zero degree cut it's basically a bob you know what i mean a straight bob and she gonna shrink up like she is gonna shrink up because she she's short but we don't care we don't care and we're gonna embrace the shrinkage we're gonna let her you know do what she does hopefully we don't have any heat damage but honestly not that i'm trying to sugarcoat anything if i do that's not ideal right but if i do for me it was worth it to be able to see the damage in my hair and cut my hair and get that type of damage off and I'll deal with whatever I have once I take my curls back to curly you know it's it's a it's a journey it's a process but hopefully we are going to be prayerful in the fact that there ain't Nathan wrong but healthy happy hair what else was I going to say let me think let me think what else was I going to say what else what else what else I don't know what it's gonna look like once we take her back to Curly. I might look like Dora the Explorer. Oh, you trying to crack jokes on me, huh, Shelly? I got you, Dora. Just wait until I get some gel and put it up in my curls. And don't fix your mouth to say my name like that no more. There's gonna be some trouble. But you know what? I ain't tripping. Like, I honestly don't necessarily care about the shape if it's like shaping and just all. I want healthy hair. Because I didn't get my hair cut for shape I got my hair really cut for health I do feel like you can get your hair cut blown out for shape as well but that honestly has not been my focus or my goal as you know my goal was to get my hair back in a healthy place so I've had to get a lot cut since May and so my objective and thought around everything is just healthy hair but it shouldn't be that bad because it's all one length so it should just you know I'm I'm thinking it's gonna pop up to about like probably right here shrinkage wise um but I don't know with the method that I'm using I do get a lot of hang time and stuff but I'm not even worried about hang time I just want beautiful bouncy healthy happy curls so who cares we will see but I'm excited I'm excited and she cute she cute okay that's not as cute as it is with curly hair. With curly hair, she extra cute. Oh, you wanna know something else? So I know that I have thick hair, right? But I guess I've underestimated like how thick my hair really is. I guess she thick, like she thick, thick. <laughs> Which I am so thankful for because, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I got some thick hair. And if you're sitting there with like thinner hair, you're kind of like, well, you want no jello now. I'm not trying to be that person and be like, I got some thick hair. I got some. No, I'm not trying to be that. But I love, I, I just, I guess I didn't realize, like I know my hair is dense. I sound kind of dense right now, but go with me, go with me. I know that my hair is dense and I have a lot of hair, but I honestly felt like when I used to, flat iron my hair back in the day when I was wearing it straight like I didn't feel like it was thick still I only felt like it was thick when I would wash it and condition it and it felt like a lot of hair which all of our hair expands right in its natural state and then when I would flat iron it it would feel thin so I just 
I always felt like I just kind of had like, I don't know, like it wasn't that thick when it was straight. Are you with me? Does this make sense? But then like now, and I'm sure it's the way it's cut because it's all one length. So I'm getting to appreciate through feel and touch just how thick she is. And when I tell you she is thick, like she's thick. She's got some mm to her. Like, like she come out and just be like, come on, come on, you know? So I really just have so much love and admiration for her level of thickness. And especially because I'm going to be 51 and normally your hair starts thinning and all of that. So I just feel very thankful and blessed. Hopefully it continues to thrive and all of that. And I'm sure it feels thicker now because back when I used to straighten my hair, I had a Brazilian blowout in it, which made it feel thinner, flatter and all that. And it just didn't feel the same. So it's going to be cool to eventually get to a point where she's longer, you know, I'm dropping my hands, but you can't see it, but longer, like let's just say past my boobies and or around there and just feel what it's gonna feel like if I ever, or when I blow her out and stuff for my cuts and all of that. So anyways, none of that means anything, but I just wanted to show y'all, you know, my hair and what she looks like, like, what's that? Well, I didn't know what that was, but it's so nice. I'm so happy, so thankful. I feel so, you know, blessed and everything. Like she, it's just such a blessing to be back in this place. So anyways, enough of me chitter chatting. We're gonna jump in the shower and take this hair back to Curly from straight. Yay, let's go. So I'm popping in to let you know that I decided to co-wash to revert my straight hair back into curly because I had just gotten it washed for the blowout. Hindsight, I should have used a lathering shampoo. So that was a learning lesson for me, but you'll see how my hair turned out. Also, if I sound a little froggy, it's cause your girl's a little under the weather, but we Gucci still. Okay, continue to enjoy the video.
because I think it's cute. Just trying something different that I saw. So cute. So here we are. We're gonna diffuse and then we'll be back. <laughs> oh my goodness, so here we are on day eight. Yes, you heard me right. We are on day eight of this hair from when I had my third salon visit and got it cut. I never anticipated to get to day eight, but we at day eight, we will be washing and resetting her today. But oh my gosh, like this haircut is everything. It was exactly what my hair needed. Also, can we just look at the curls? I mean, even though it's day eight, can we just seriously look at the curls? There's a lot of functional frizz going on and all the things. And my hair just feels amazing. And it just really looks amazing. Like even the curls, like normally my curls would get all flat and pressed when I would sleep on them. But no, not with what we are doing now. Like we have just beautiful full curls that just stay beautiful and full. My hair being day eight, I can't believe I'm at day eight. I'm like... Who is you? How did you get to day eight? But like I said, we at day eight. So even at day eight, my hair still looks beautiful. It is starting to start to feel dry. So we're definitely going to reset her today. This hair went through seven workouts and just all the things. And I mean, she just showed up and showed out. So. I want it to pop on and just let you see where we're at, what that initial wash looked like and what it translated into. It did get a little bit fuller over the days, which we are not mad at because we like the bigger hair and everything. So this is where we're at. We're gonna reset her. It's kind of cool because I actually get to start kind of back over with my shorter hair. For me, this is very short but I get to start over with my shorter hair. And this time I told myself, if I ever went a bit shorter again, or had to go like really short, which this isn't really short, this is just kind of short for me. But I was like, if I ever have to go, you know, short again, I was going to embrace like the fullness and I was going to embrace the shrinkage and I was going to embrace all the things that I felt like I didn't embrace the last time that I went short, I mean, literally, I have to get an edge up because it's that short in the back. But honey, I'm embracing everything. I did not stretch my hair, I did not try and stretch it. Not that there's anything bad about that because shrinkage could be downright rude and disrespectful, okay? And if you don't like it, you don't have to accept it. You can do whatever you want with your hair because it's your hair. See how that works? But I decided I wasn't going to fight the shrinkage, I wasn't going to fight the fullness of it, that I was just going to let my hair do what it wants to do, if it wants to be big and whatever, that we gonna go with it. So we are going with it and we're just gonna see where she takes us. And yeah, that's it. I just want to show you because I know we want, we know Z and we wanna know all the things. I will be linking all the products that I'm using down in the description box because I know you want to know what I'm using. It's still kind of evolving and changing as I move through solidifying my method that I am utilizing to fully take care of my hair. I feel extremely confident in my new method that I'm utilizing. And there's just, like I said, one piece to the puzzle that I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not 100% sure on. And that's the drying, like the hooded dryer. I think the diffusing is fine because I've done that in the past and that was fine. I think it's that hooded dryer. And I think that if you're using it, you should err on the side of caution and possibly implement a heat protection, or at least I'm going to do that for my hair. That's what I've been doing because I think it warrants that. Other than that, you know, I've been sticking to my same product combination, the Cantu with the Argan Oil. That'll be linked down below. The Big Papa by The Do. And then I've been topping it with the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Hold It Styling Gel 
Love this combination. It has my hair thriving and profiling, honey. Like, I mean, just look at the curls. And this is day eight. Like, you didn't want to see it when I first did it. And then the few days afterwards, well, I might have to insert some pictures, you know, because you didn't want really know we just want to show the people, show them all of the things. No, okay, that was a little weird. But anyways, I just know we want to see it because I would want to see it. But I'm just going to insert some pictures so you can see. Also, also, just to be completely transparent, because I've had a few people ask me if I finger coiled you know, my hair at all because of how it's curling up on the ends and stuff. Let's find, I keep feeling like I keep going towards the same one. I did not finger coil. However, what I did do after I put all my products in, I did go through my hair and I brushed through it and I did a slight flick. Like when I brought the brush down, I went like this, I brought it like that. And by bringing it down and just going like that, my hair curl like you see it on the ends, just so you know. And I love that look. I wanted to just play around with it and try it. I loved it. I love the look of it. And so I will probably continue to do that. This particular curl right here is on the side of my head where my hair tends to be a bit looser. Like when I took the brush, I, I took it and I really like, like twisted it to make it really curl even more because it's just, she's just loose. Like, I mean, she's kind of fast, you know what I mean? Saying she's a lesbian in the closet. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? So that one is manipulated the rest. Um, I guess you could say they're manipulated. I had a long conversation with my friend about it and I was like, so brushing through your hair, you know, if your hair curls up when you brush through it is manipulation, she said, yeah. So I'm gonna go with it. Um, so take that for what it's worth and just know that that's how I achieved that look. And I just think that when she gets like super long and I like brush through the ends of it, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Like, mm, I can't wait, I'm excited. So that's where we are with the hair. I will be doing an updated video on my whole routine, what it looks like from start to finish and what I'm doing throughout like a full month's worth of time. I'm not gonna videotape a full month's worth of time. That would be crazy and hard to do and put it in one video. But what I mean is I'm going to do an updated video where I break down everything that I'm doing, like how often I'm co-washing, how often I'm resetting my hair, you know, what I'm uh, using to shampoo my hair with and how often I'm doing that. All those little nuances, because I have, I feel like I've developed a method for myself and I want to share that with whoever is nosy and wants to know, but I want to lay it out in terms of what I'm doing just so that you understand what I'm doing and you can, you know, just keep track of everything and follow along in the journey. And I mean, if you want to do it too, hey, I mean, you can never have too many people involved at the party. So, all right. Anyways, that's it. Bye, girlfriends.